Hey everybody, Standing Ovation here again with another break, and I'm about to go back in time again, this time to 2003-2004 for Pacific's Quest for the Cup. Uh, if you've actually been watching my channel, you've seen recently I did a 2002-2003 hobby box. Well, I got the 3-4. The only two years they did Quest for the Cup was 2002-2003, 2003-2004, and uh, yeah, let's see what happens when I rip uh, series second, the second run of it, like... Again, the, the rookie crop in 0304 is a lot uh, stronger, in my opinion. You've got, well, the big names, I guess, you might be hitting in rookie cards. Uh, Ber Bergeron, Eric Stahl, uh, Marc-Andre Fleury, obviously. Jordan Tutu, Dustin Brown. There's a lot of names in the 0304 set um, right before the lockout year. And then the regular inserts are not rare, few and far between. I guess the, the rarest of them all is the Conquests, which are 1 in 48 packs. But again, none of the inserts are numbered. There only uh, is a blue parallel, which is numbered to 150 of the base set. The rookies are numbered to 950. I don't think there's gold versions this year like they had in 0203. But the main draw, the one that's really uh, the one, what I want to hit, there's Guy Lafleur autographs and Grant Fuhr autographs that are potentially hit. Few, Very, very few far between. There's 100 of each, and they're rare. But, you know, I don't know how much of this product was made. So compared to this year's uh, production numbers, maybe they're not that rare. And again, I haven't ripped any of this since... Probably around 2005, so I'm really interested to see how this turns out. Shout out to Vincent and Mike out there in North Bay that gave me the idea to rip this. Um, yeah, I'm always looking to find something a little bit more interesting, more fun to rip. And these right now, you can pick them up for about, I don't know, between 50 and 70 bucks Canadian. Uh, and again, I see them on online. The checklist says they're 30 bucks American a box. I don't know where you can buy them at 30 American to get them delivered. It's probably going to cost you a bit more than that. Anyway, uh, you're going to get one mem, or sorry, yeah, three one mem and three rookies, numbered rookies in a box. So the fact they even guaranteed a game jersey in a box in 0304, you know, I, I don't know. I'm, I said, say this is the last year Pacific made cards. They went defunct. I guess they did technically make an 0405 set, but pretty much after that, the lockout happened in 0405. And part of that lockout settlement was a contract with hockey card manufacturers. And Upper Deck has been the only producer ever since with a license, that is. Look at that. I like these boxes cool quest for the cup five card packs uh again the checklist i think it's 200 cards big with 50 rookies but we'll we'll see that pretty shortly let's see what happens 24 packs all right let's see here we go oh yeah pacific complete don't forget that's part of the set too the complete set although part two or series two of complete which is a cross brand set they put in two cards usually of i thought it was two maybe it's only one uh, from the Pacific Complete set. But generally, there's only 100 cards in each product. So it looks like the 400 series was in 0304 Quest for the Cup. I think Pacific had about, I'm going to say about eight products a year they came out with. Maybe only about six. Okay, well, here we go. I like the design. Any card that has a Stanley Cup on it, I like it. The first guy is Joe Sackick, Hall of Famer captain, and current big wig at the, in the Colorado franchise to this day. Le Cavalier, Jagger, nice as a Rangers, and <laughs> Mr. Moneybags, Di Pietro. I think he's still under getting paid by the Islanders. Yeah, so maybe it's only 100 cards big. I know that the names in the checklist on the jersey cards are pretty good too. You can actually hit, you know, game used jerseys of some of the big name players like Lebu and Jagger. And it turns out the jerseys are actually tiered. There's three different tier numberings on the jerseys. They're either at a, I think the most common are 925. And you could get uh, numbered at a 500. And the short prints like Lemieux and I think Kovalchuk is uh, numbered at a 250. But we'll see. We're only going to get one. But numbered jerseys cards. What a concept. Passmore. Steve Passmore. One of the many Blackhawks goalies over the years. Solani. That's right. He did a short stint with the... Avs, Asik with the Red Wings. Spezza chasing the cup insert, first insert. And Pazzi Nurmanen. Eh, I forgot about him. Finnish goalie for Atlanta before they became Winnipeg. Whoops. Whoopsie. Hope everybody's having a great summer and you're enjoying your time. I'm on holiday right now as you're watching this somewhere. Hopefully I'm floating on a lake. And enjoying myself doing something like that. Peter Worrell. 
Tangay. Holy these avalanche. I guess this is around what, uh, when Avs were a strong team, was it? I can't remember when. They, was it 03 they won a cup? I can't remember all these dates and years anymore. I'm getting too darn old. I'm an old man now. Uh, yeah, Naslin. Strong captain for the Canucks, who never won anything, but he was a great player. Kovalev. And Mike Knubel. 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 Bruins. Didn't look too much at the backs of these, but they are, look, you know, a cup on every card. I like them. Pacific, yeah. Like you say, they gave some ideas to Upper Deck that are Upper, upper Deck's probably still using to this day, but this isn't one they copied as far as I can tell. Panini, I think, did they absorb Pacific, what was left of it? Because I know a lot of the Pacific inserts show up in Panini products from time to time. There's a red parallel. I forgot about these. Oban. Red completes the parallel to the Pacific complete. They're not numbered. They're just red. Let's have a look at the back of a complete card. Whoops, what oh, is numbered? I lied! J.S. Oban, numbered out of 99, red Pacific complete. Okay, it's like an Easter egg hit because I don't think it's mentioned on the box. Uh, Easter eggs in 0304. What a concept. Mark Bell. There he is, my first rookie, Tutu. I'm glad I got him because he, to this day, is popular. Peter Forsberg, very popular player. Martin Hossa, Marian Hossa. You never wanted to get on the wrong side of a Jordan Tutu check. Eden Elia. Number 31 of 950. Nice low numbered card. He was 55, so right on. That's a cool card. 2-2. Two -two. Yeah, his brother died when he was young. I think that's uh, very inspirational. Maybe he wasn't that young either. I know his brother died. And he's had a hard life. Okay, there's Manny Maholtra, former Guelph Storm player, and he still works in hockey to this day. I can't remember what his role is, but he's a busy guy. Danny, Mark, Danny, Mark Denny, Peter Bondra, here's Dustin Brown, the Calder Contenders insert, look at how young he looks there, many, many years with the LA Kings, and a Stanley Cup, Glenn Murray, another longtime Bruin, I think he, did he end up in Dallas at the end, I can't remember, I don't remember, but I know he was Bruin for, for a very long time. Going on with my focus. What's going on with the focus? Yeah, if you like this kind of video, please help me out. Tap that like button. Maybe uh, think about subscribing if you're not already subscribed, because I do all kinds of breaking on this channel. Not like break dancing, but you know, that wouldn't be a good thing. There's Hasek, Hall of Famer. Rick Nash, year after his rookie second year card. Robert Lang, the Red Wings, in a Caps jersey. Eric Lindros is a ranger with the old retro jersey on. Like the vintage V. Is that what it is? Ah, cool. And Raycroft. Ah, former Maple Leaf. Back before he was a Maple Leaf, he was a rookie with the Bruins. I think in 2001? Around that time? Around the turn of the century. Ty Conklin. Old-time goalie for the oil. Brett Hall, the Red Wings. Okay, we got an insert coming up. Here we got Ole Jokinen and Jumbo Joe Thornton. Clean shaven Joe back when he was, well, he's a captain. I remember he started off as a defenseman. That's so weird. Mario Lemieux. What is that? The racing, raising the cup insert. Again, good looking Mario card. I'm sure somebody's looking for a, that one in their Mario collection. A little bit of a corner white spot, but. Again, it's not a super high-end card. It's just a non-numbered base hit. Base insert hit. That's an appropriate name. But it's Mario. Mario! Uh, I see Oban. Okay, I'll go with the base, with the, with the regular, with the uh, red. Ron Francis. Okay, here's my second rookie, also a Pred. Now, nah, it's Merrick Zidlicki, a defenseman for many, many years, I believe. Was he defense? I think, but no, maybe he wasn't defense. The points suggest he was, I don't know. I thought, yeah, defenseman says right there. See, learn yourself something. Read. Numbered 944, 950. Cool. Put Jordan up on top of him. He's still my guy. And these two rookies so far. 
Spezza and Calder. Kyle Calder. Yeah. Spezza was 0203 rookie. I guess these are second year Spezza entries. She just hung up the laces there last year, too. Jeff Hackett. I guess he officially retired as a Maple Leaf. Curtis Joseph. Or is he officially retired? I don't know. Luongo. He may not have made a public statement about it, but I'm pretty sure he ain't playing hockey with the Penguins, which I think he followed Dubas right out the door. Daniel Briere and Mike Ryder. The old Newfoundlander from Newfoundland. Yeah, that's... Uh, thanks, Captain Obvious. St. John's, Newfoundland. Yeah, capital of Newfoundland. Got Oban again. Why is let's just keep get let's get them all. Okay, I'm gonna put that there too. Shanahan. Shashmanic. Forgot about this guy. He had a few years in him. There's a Trent Hunter called her contenders. Oh, he did not really contend. Sheldon Suri. I think Eric Stahl was the rookie of the year in this season. I again I can't remember when the call actual one to call there. Was it Stahl or Flurry? I forget it. Nabokov. 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 Stevie Y. Mr. Detroit. There's a few guys that could go anywhere they want in Detroit to this day, and he's one of them. Well, I don't know if I'd go anywhere in Detroit, but he can go a lot of places and get open door policies. Frolov, Kotalik, and Teodor. Jose Teodor. Okay, last pack in the first half on the right hand side for those that care. Oh yeah, Eddie the Eagle with the Maple Leafs. One of the good net miners they had. Rico Fata. I can't remember the story on him. He played a lot of, well he, he had a better OHL career I'm pretty sure than he had an NHL career. Ziggy Palfi. Okay I got my first blue coming up. Maybe it's my only blue. Martin Erat. Anis Anabokov. Number to 150. 75. Evgeny Nab Nab Nabokov. 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 I didn't miss a blue, did I? If I did, slap me in the belly with a wet fish. Slap me in the belly with a wet fish. That's, um, uh, that's an old time saying. My, my pappy used to say that. That's better than a slap in the belly with a wet fish. There's a lot of things that are better than that. But yeah. Okay, here we go. We're ripping into the second half. Have not seen my mem card. Oli the goalie. Mario. Love you. Marty St. Louis. Satan. Mirslav Satan. And Scott Hartnell. Longtime Fred. And uh, Philadelphia Flyer. Thibault. Jocelyn Thibault. Pavel Dimitra. R.I.P. He died in a plane crash, if I remember, in Russia somewhere, I think. I know he's no longer with us. There's Eddie again. Bergeron, a rookie insert, a Calder contender, and he was a contender. Has he retired? I don't think so. Not officially. Fedorov. I think he's got a few more weeks of the summer to make that decision. Or announcement, if he has already decided. Kind of looked like he had the last game Bruins played. Freddie Brathwaite. It's a cool card. Very colorful 0304 design. Lime green, red, and blue on a Blue Jackets jersey. Oh, there goes my backdrop. My high-end YouTube studio falling apart. Keith the Chuck. Pappy Keith. Owen Nolan. Owen. Sean Donovan with J.S. Jaguar. Cool. Cool, 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 cool. We got, oh, I forgot this guy, Jason Bashwa, Bash, Bakashua, I, again, I, I don't, forgot him, I don't even remember his name at all, Jason Bakashua, Shishua, uh, that guy, mm-hmm, before joining Utah of the HL, Jason led the OHL, five shutouts, and, oh, okay, he's a goaltender that, Bashwa, I just don't, I don't remember him, sorry, Jason, hope you're doing well to this day and enjoying your post-hockey career, whatever it is. Dougie Waite, Matt Sundin, 
great, great Maple Leaf player who never won anything. Yeah. Keatley. Okay. And upside down and all around, we got Raising the Cup, Brett Hall. Very obviously the easiest insert to hit are these Chasing the Cups. Whoops. Yeah, all right. Raising the Cup and Chasing the Cup. Calder contenders. I'm getting them all mixed up. They all, yeah, Lemieux and Hull. Okay. So, yeah, the Calder contenders seem to be the easiest hit, if I remember. The box said one in seven packs. Chris Osgood with the Blues. Kipper. Somebody asked me if I had any Kipper cards recently. Well, no, I do. One base card. It's nothing really to write home about. But let's see if we can't hit something. David Hale. Calder and Marion Hossa. 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 and Pepper. Cujo is the Red Wings. And I still can't get used to seeing him as a Red Wing. Garen. In fact, if Cujo is not with the Leafs or the Blues, I mean, I know he did stint with the Oilers too, but I just, I don't know. I, I'm so, he's, he's supposed to be blue. Garen. Bertuzzi, your son. Is it your nephew or your son? I don't know. I think it's your nephew. Somebody with your namesake is now on the Maple Leafs. I'm pretty sure, according to Ziri, it's his nephew. Iggy and Kovalchuk. From the Where Are You Now Files. Maybe he'll come back for another season and play for LA again. Or No, I think he's, he's not coming back. Aaron Downey. Mike Modano, the greatest American player of all time. Is he? I don't know. That's I think he's up there. Alice Hemsky. Chasing the cup. Kovalchuk. Yeah, that card used to be really popular, I'm sure, but now it's just, yeah, it's a Kovalchuk card, whatever. Atlanta Thrasher's card's probably. Remember Atlanta? Actually, they had. I, I never did like their logo. Kozlov. They had a color design either. It was actually, yeah, they didn't have a chance. The Flames had a way better jersey. Okay. Well, let's see what their third team comes up with. Because you know Batman's going to milk that city for what it's worth. Okay. Zach Burke. All these obscure goalies that I've forgotten about. At least that one's a game shot. That other one was Joshua Buckle or something. He was just standing there. Here's Marty Turco. He had himself a great career. Ryan Smith. Actually, Turco's the the, uh, the poster boy for 0203 Quest for the Cup. You could maybe hit an autograph of him in there. I think they're numbered to 500. Thomas Volkun and Andrew Brunette. In an early Minnesota Wild logo jersey. Jersey logo. Jersey. Well, I'm looking for that jersey card. Speaking of jersey, did I hit it? I think I got it right here. I don't know. It, maybe it feels a little thicker. Sebastian Caron. Again, another old school goalie that I remember the name, but not his game. Bat, Batsuck. I just made him into a soccer player. Pavel Datsuk. Patsuck. Rafi Torres. Urgh, he was a dirty guy. Dirty player. Dirty, dirty player. Robbie Blake, Hall of Fame defenseman, Stanley Cup winning. And Alexander Dag. <laughs> okay. We got Vesa Toskala. I like these complete goalie cards. They're very nice action shots and bring back the memories of the past. Chris Draper. He played for his whole career for the Red Wings. Jay Bowmeister, another good defenseman for many years. There he is, Hall of Famer, best goalie of all time. Or was he? I don't know. Roi Brodeur, the argument will go for, forever. Marianne Gaborik. Marianne Gaborik. He had a lot of popularity in his day. I don't know why he, he didn't play that long for a guy that was supposed to be that good. 
Okay, let's finish this off. I think I got one more after this. I do. This is Johan Hedberg. Keep on these goalies. Keep them coming. Tony Amante with the Flyers. Valerie, brother of Pavel Bure, and, and husband to, um, oh, it's, 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 it's a country singer. I, I, oh, man. Yeah, they make a beautiful couple. Probably made beautiful babies. Anyway, there he is. And there's Jason King. Calder contender who came nowhere near winning a Calder ever. Kind of an obscure Canucks card. I have to put that in my pile for my guy here in Vancouver area who may have interest in a no-name player like that that I think is no-name. He might go, oh, Jason King, cool. Saku Koyu. Yeah, let's go. Well, this should have a jersey card in it or I got ripped and I'm going to have to write Pacific a letter. I don't know where it would go to. It would just float around in the ocean because I think that's what's left of Pacific. The Pacific Coast is all that's left of Pacific. Well, there is something in here. A little something, something. Mark Denny. Forsberg. There's a full pot card. Hey, check out my eBay store. I've got a full pot autograph. I numbered it a 10 from that Legends in there. It's been up there for a while. I don't know, maybe my price is a little whack, but they're hard to find. Autos out of 10, hard signed card. Anyway. Anyway, we got Hosa. 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 and Pfeffer. We got. We got. What do we got? Eric Cole. Hey, did I miss it? I must have missed a rookie, because you're supposed to get three of them, and I only seen two of them. There it is. Rick Nash. Second year. Rick Nash, 699 and 925. Okay, well, I really would have preferred a Jagger or a Mario, but, you know, yeah, that's a Rick Nash jersey, right? I mean, Rick Nash. Okay, well, 699 and 925. This card would have been super popular had I pulled it back in 2004, but I didn't. It's 2023, and it's just a, it's a small trinket in somebody's collection now. Columbus Blue Jackets pile it'll go into. Or it might make it to eBay. You never know. I got to get up to date here on listings so check out my ebay store if you're ever in the buying mode i do try to do auctions ending on sunday night almost every week although for the summer it kind of it took a bit of a break but there's always lots of items up there and i will expand a little further i got to get up to date with my checklists too because i think the way to go is to launch a store i got a lot of parallel cars of people are trying to build in their sets i should probably make them available at some point okay well let's just do a quick review the base inserts Spez and Kovalchuk chasing the cup. I didn't get one of the really rare ones, if you want to call it that. I got to do a review to see if I did miss a numbered card, but I know I didn't miss another blue. At least I'm pretty sure I didn't. I got the Nabokov, numbered 75 of 150. The two rookies, two Preds. I like the Tutu and the Zidlicky. Yeah, well, somebody out there might want them. Somebody in the Czech or the Slovak. Czech Republic? Where is he from? Czech, Z, Czech Republic got the Jason King Calder contenders to go with the other three names you might recognize Bergeron Hunter and Brown again Trent Trent Hunter was never a huge Calder contender either I got the Blake Lemieux and Hall so I'd have to double check let me just pause this and look yeah as it turned out I went right by the David Hale rookie card that I hit the devil's rookie I forgot about David Hale didn't recognize his name my bad 324 950 to go with the tutu and the Zidlicky. Well, I'd say I, I definitely I, I'd be interested in maybe doing this again. I'll check to see if there's more of these boxes available. And in the meantime, maybe throughout the summer, I'll track some more down because it's a lot of fun for the price point. You get a shot at a Hall of Famer jersey card that's numbered, uh, potential rookies of some good players. And again, parallels if you're a parallel hunter of obscure cards. I mean, this complete set, I completely forgot that they had numbered out of 99s. And uh, the you, the shot at the Gi and the Grand Fear Auto. I mean, like I say, this could be a lot of fun to do it again. Be watching for it. Not anytime soon, though. I got maybe like another month from now, I'll try this again. Thanks for watching. Thanks for the support of the channel, everybody. Keep on collecting. Standing ovation out.